This is the old town of Moorhead. Mm -hmm. This is where I was born. Yeah. Okay. And I was, when I was born, there were more houses here. There was at least one more house here. Mm -hmm. But that house there is sitting on the house lot where I was born. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as a side note, that house sat there for a long time empty. Guy bought it, tore it down, and the building it's on there now is the schoolhouse that Shirley went to school in that they brought from clear over on the other side of Pisgah. Oh. And he remodeled it into a home. Oh my God, yeah. Now my grandmother lived in this little house right here. Yeah. And it's been added on to a couple of times, but it's basically, uh, we go around and look at the front. Yeah. It's basically just about the same as yeah. it was. But see, she, my mother was there having pneumonia and it's really ill, and I wasn't getting anywhere at all. And Doc came up from, Doc Cook came up from Pisgah like four times, and they couldn't keep my mother's milk down or my de uh, or the cow's milk down, and I was getting pretty weak. Yeah. And he, he eventually on the fourth time called my dad outside and, and told him to pre be prepared to to lose me. Mm -hmm. Well, my my. Uh, we would have been over here. Mm -hmm. And so my grandmother, little little tiny lady, that was there with my oldest aunt, Aunt Lily. She just, this is winter time, the snow's on the ground. She just marches over here and gets me, takes me back over there and gives me to Aunt Lily and says, you watch him. And she takes a half gallon syrup can and she starts up this road, goes around the bend, then walks up the valley yeah. to some people who have goats. Yeah. And she gets the goat's milk yeah. and walks back in the wintertime. And they gave me the goat's milk and I didn't throw it up at all. And it basically saved my life. So this is where it all, yeah. this yeah. Is where it all happened. Yeah. This is where it all happened. Years ago. Yeah. 92 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the dots. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I've seen this uh, change off and on, but this is this is the very first town, very first settlement. And then when the railroad came through, a lot of everybody went over there and, mm -hmm. and built uh, in the other uh, new town of Moorhead. So this is where it all started, yeah. basically. How does it feel to walk down your old street, like where you were born? Well, I tell you, I haven't walked down this street for 50 years or more. Oh, really? I, I don't remember ever walking down this street. I always drove down this street. I always drove by. Well, I guess you didn't, well, you didn't when walk I was, it as a when baby. When I was young, either. I was out here playing around. You yeah. Know? So you're saying that the original house was smaller. Yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, really, you see, it's got a metal roof on it now. It's been altered, yeah, several times, a little times around the edges. But there's a, I'd say, seventy percent of it's original. Okay. Especially on here, where you see this door that they're not even using anymore. Yeah. Uh, the house from this angle hasn't changed that much, except there were white fences here uh -huh. in the yard, and they had flowers and rose bushes and everything. The little white shed might have been here, but I don't think so. Yeah. Basically just just this house here, because that garage was added on. Huh. Such yeah. a little thing. I remember standing outside looking in those two windows when my grandmother was passing away. Oh. They, they relegated us, me and Viola, outside. Yeah. And the family was a lot of family here. Yeah. So she died in this house? She died in this house. Mm hmm Yeah. Wow. And this, of course, was just a narrow dirt road. Yeah. And there wasn't... There wasn't even any dirt on the, or in the rock or, or, or cement on this at all. There's an ant on your yeah. coat.
And there were more trees along here. Mm -hmm. And this was a narrow road. You know, it had been widened over the years. Yeah. Yeah, I always, always have a little palpitation in my heart when I drive by this house. Yeah. Because hadn't been for her, you wouldn't I, be I here. wouldn't be here. Yeah. 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 She was a Mental smart almost. woman. She was a sweet lady. She was so sweet. This this cemetery is the first originally it's a parent cemetery. You got a fence right up here. It goes right through the right to the middle of it. That piece there is barely basically parents. It was the, uh, donated by the David Perrin, who had a house right over there, and that started this cemetery. And then they came along and added this on. But um, these these people are from a, a, a remnant or an offshoot of the Mormon group um, that pulled away from Brigham Young mm -hmm. and settled up here in, mm -hmm. in preparation. Brian probably showed you that. Mm -hmm. But uh, in 2012, this was in terrible shape. Mm. We had trees, we had brush, we had, the fence line was full of trees. We had huge trees. You can see the stumps. There's yeah. one over here and there and here. Yeah. And, uh, and so when we had a pairing reunion, we, I mentioned that we should do something about it mm. because if we didn't do something about it, it was just going to be yeah. covered. And so we had tremendous response, and that's, I'll make it short. We got, collected the money, tore out all the trees, mm. the fences, put in new fences. Uh, Ronnie and Diane and Jan and I put this white fence in mm -hmm. ourselves. We cleaned all the brush up and got it cleaned up. And I was in, I was 80, 80 or 80 some years old. And, uh, this is basically parents here. Mm -hmm. Now my, my, my mother and dad are that, there's two stones down there, one with a hook up in the air. Yeah, I see. That's my, my, my mother and dad. Yeah. And then the one on this side is my oldest sister, mm -hmm. Nola and Leo. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then, look, I see how, then, then uh, Nola and Leo, I think is the north one. The one in the middle is Norma and Lee. Mm -hmm. So my two older sisters are buried there. Mm -hmm. And then my grandmother is buried there and my great grandfather. Yeah. And then, yeah, and this, oh, down here is the lady that came over from England. She was be my great, great, no, just, no, just, just great grandmother. Yeah. Great. And she went to Utah mm -hmm. and came back. So this is pretty, this is pretty historic one of the earlier cemeteries. And the patriarch of the whole group is behind this stone here. He was the one that was in that, that Mormon battalion that mm -hmm. marched from Council Bluffs to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty historic place. And this, this here, if you get it, this, this tells you about the group if you want to take a picture of it. Did you did you write this as well? I I wrote the bottom part. Yeah. Uh, um, look, uh, uh, old Tom Perrin, who's right buried there, his daughter wrote the top. She's okay. a really a good historian, but I tied the settlement site to this because I wanted the people to know that where the people lived right. that died here, and that was north of here. Yeah. So is this where you slept on like a cot under the library table? I yeah. remember you telling Yeah, on people, a pad. On a pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cuz yeah. how right. many rooms were there? Well, there's two there's two rooms and a pantry back there and the rest of it's uh, two two bedrooms and a pantry and the bedrooms are small. Mhm. Mm yeah. And that library table set in front of this window. Yeah. I'm going to do a little clip and why don't you just explain 
Like where, like w what we're looking at. Well, this this is a house that originally was on the old 40 that we call the old 40, and it's just the center part. This porch was not on there, and it sits exactly. Uh, oh no, it's turned. This this was facing the east because we didn't use that door. We used another door that went in went mm -hmm. in this way. And this but is they, where you kind of grew up. Yeah, it set up. Yeah, that's where I. When I was four years old and found out I was in this world, when we were living in that house, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and they uh, it sat empty up there, and then this man bought it, put it here for his hired man, mm. and and this place is well, I don't know his grandson farms this land now, but I don't I know he don't live in that house anymore, yeah, because that doesn't look to me like it's kept up at all. No. Yeah, they had a lot of livestock here. At one time, he had a hundred head of mules. Hmm. It was he farmed with mules. But is this where, is this is this the guy that you got Maggie from? Yes, yeah. Art Johnson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> he lived here, and he led her right up this road. Yeah. To the forty. Yeah. I think we can go up that road, Roddy. Yeah. And that'll be, uh, yeah, yeah. Art Johnson, he wore. A, Cowboy Batty, Hattie was really a handsome man. Yeah. All the women just <laughs> swooned over him, including my mother. You know, he was really a nice guy. Oh. You know, this this is a forty. The the house, the little house down there, set was set right where the trailer the the trailer is there, mm -hmm. the yeah. camper, and then the barn set here. Uh, and now they got a house that's over. You see the roof of their house, mm -hmm. and that was just. Uh, and then the chicken house set up, up by that big tree. That tree there was there. Yeah. And then the corn crib set up along there. And then, of course, we he farmed that ground up there, and, and he cut that timber all off. To, at least once when we were there. All, all, this, all these trees from yeah. that fence line there yeah. on over. It's a quarter of a mile that way and a quarter of a mile this way. So he farmed on these hills? Yeah, yeah. And then he, on the other side, he had some farm ground. Yeah. Way up over. What about those? But you can see. What about those fields there? Well, that right in that cottonwoods there, that's where the shears lived. Oh. You can see some of the cement wall when we go back out. Yeah. But this is this is a, this is the best sleigh riding hill in the county. Yeah. We start at the very top. We go all the way to the corner. Yeah. On our sleds. <laughs> yeah. And is that plum tree still here? Yeah, there's plum bushes. Those are wild plums. Yeah. yeah. Well, the plum tree set just about where that 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 big tree set. Yeah. Because this was the lane. That we were going down on the wagon. Yeah. And right there is where I got my leg caught in the wheel. Oh, yeah. When we went out. Yeah. It, but it's, it sloped more then than it does now. Yeah. Anyhow, this tree's over here. It's really grown up thick. Were these here when you were here? Yeah. Yeah. The banks and everything. The, the, See, hill, the, the hill was much higher. Or, I mean, the road was or, much higher or were up you on just the hill. Smaller? Yeah, it just washed to wash away. Oh. And the maintainer would move it and then it washed away in the rain. It just yeah. over the years just come down. It was a lot steeper. So what was in this sort of field here? Well we had alfalfa in there. Oh yeah. And he had corn in there. Just yeah. to think about it. He farmed out with a horse and, and a walking plot horses and a walking plow. Mm-hmm. Oh, just two horses is all he had here. But he had a lot of cows, and then when I was sent up the lane to go get the cows when I was four years old, oh, the lane yeah. went right up along the edge, of, just over the edge of that green there. Yeah. Went up and up over the ridge and cur over in the timber yeah. in, in the dark. And uh, it got me over get, being afraid of the dark. it's dark, yeah. Yeah. Dad was set right out in the barnyard there, fence there, and the cows, and milk them right outside. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. incredible. Yeah, it was a 
a pretty place. Yeah. My all all of my all of us kids loved it here. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a thing except and the garden. The garden sat right here. Was yeah. Right here it was this big big piece right here. Yeah. yeah. Is this where you caught a Viola's skirt on fire? Right here. Yeah. Right about where that building is. <laughs> yeah. We were put. We were burning the trash, and yeah. I had a can with, with kerosene in it and a rag, and I wasn't watching what I was doing. And I walked by her and caught her caught her skirt on fire. <laughs> Mom grabbed her and rolled her around and around. Yep, and, yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is where they were up there in the edge of the timber, getting wood, loading it into the wagon, and throwing on these big chunks of wood and dad was bending over and Lauren picked up a, yeah. a piece of wood and threw it up on there and it didn't quite make it in the wagon come down hit dad on the head and knocked him out yeah cold, cold. yeah and he laid down by laying down behind the horses Norma comes running to the house screaming at my mother and saying Lauren killed dad yeah Lauren killed dad <laughs> <laughs> yeah he came to and we all had a good laugh out of it. Just accidents happened all the time yep. on the farm, yeah. Yeah, and that's the same place I ran through the barbed wire gate when oh, I came yeah. back when Dad closed the gate. Yeah. And I brought the cows down, and that's I got that the, was just there. Yeah, right, right up from that red car. Yeah. And that's got, where it almost ended uh, for you. Yeah, the barbed wire caught caught me in the throat and yeah. the stomach and the legs, but it didn't go sideways. Yeah. It just made puncture holes. <laughs> A lot of close calls growing up. Yep. Yeah. The house set right here, and the barn set out there, and the corn crib was out about where that dirt, where they plowed up the dirt, and then the barnyard was there, and there was a lane that went up, and that was mostly all pasture up there. Chicken house was up here uh, behind us. This was all garden in here. Mm -hmm. And this ditch has been dammed up and fi and filled in a lot. Otherwise, that was what Julie was talking about, the holes. It was terrible. Mm. And the well set, the well set right on the, about on the, over the bank. That bank wasn't that far away. The well set down over the down over the well, well, and there weren't any, there weren't any trees, there weren't any pine trees on that, because mm. uh, we had all pasture over there, and see they've taken the fence down, uh, because this is DNR, this is DNR ground now, it's the government ground, and uh, this uh, this has really changed mm. a lot, mm. our our our. Old barn that we tore down was over here, and then we dad and I tore it down and built a took the, the lumber and made a lower, flatter barn. And that was our milk barn and the horse barn, was right, up, right up in there. So, and what are some things that happened while you were on the 80? Is this when Lauren got drafted? Was that no, on the 80? No, he was we were out on the Rogers place. All right. No, one of my well, I stayed here and uh, and and helping uh, the original owners before my folks. Old, old man Pitt, we called him. I can't remember his first name. He broke his shoulder, so I came out and did chores for him. And he, uh, uh, I did chores, uh, and I went to school. Mm -hmm. And the school bus would come down, and there was a road that went right around the house, and then right right out out out. And uh, when I got through, he got healed up and he paid me off. He, they were really generous. They paid, they gave me a lot of money. Mm. And I had a bicycle here. And this road, I went up on the road here to go real fast, come down around here so I could pump it up this hill. I got a, I got, I had a, my clothes in a shopping bag over the handlebars and it got into spokes. Uh -oh. And I flipped me right over on my face, right <laughs> right on this corner, and I really got hurt. Oh. I, I really had a bloody face. Oh. Yeah. No, so we uh, we had a 
we, Dad got a VAC case tractor we were here, mm -hmm. and that helped us a lot. Yeah. And, of course, this is the place where we were when I went to the Navy. Yeah. Yeah, the last place. Yeah. And uh, Ronnie and Jerry r run this ditch like wild Indians with her, with Bob and and and, uh, and Denny. They just, they just loved it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, There's lots of space to play. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's quiet at the end of the road. My mother spent so much time back here without ever coming out. Mm. She she just go to town once in a while, maybe once a month. Oh yeah. The rest of the time she's back here, there's no cars, no traffic, no people. Yeah. And that that I always thought that was hard, even cruel. You know. Did she did she like it that way or no? Well, she was a she was tough, you know, and uh, she'd go to town and. She didn't have very good shoes, but she'd sit in the car, and then her friends would come and sit with her and talk mm -hmm. to her. But she was um, uh, a really great cook. I mean, we had a lot of, we had a lot, of, there, there, I, I have a little picture I just found is in this house. Mm -hmm. it's, I just laid it out for, okay. for you to look at when we get home. Yeah. And then a family sitting around here eating yeah. a big meal in this, in this house. Yeah. The house isn't here anymore. This is where old Maggie went blind, Aww. and Dad had a gun jammed, and he had to he killed her with an axe, put her out of her misery. She went she went right through the side of the barn. She went through fences. She was cutting herself all up, and then he went in the house and cried. Aww. Yeah, and it was because he took her out and was cultivated up along there in the hot weather, and he, she hadn't been hooked up for two or three years, and and she came in and drank the cold water and got a blood clot in her brain. Mm. Yeah, that's what happened. She was 20-some years old. old no one Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I was in the Navy, so at that time. 